Good morning and welcome. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'd like to share with you a poem that's been special to me. Uh, it's called The Calf Path. It was written by a American librarian and poet named Sam Walter Foss, who was born in 1858. The poem starts with a meandering calf finding his way home. The next day, a dog comes along and follows the same path. Eventually, some other animals, some men, and soon it becomes a city street. Now, Throughout history, everyone keeps following this same path without ever wondering why the path is so crooked. I first read this poem in junior high school, and I thought it was really funny. But as an adult, I, I find it really sad, because that is the tendency of humanity, to continue on a path that someone has already carved for you without really questioning if you like that path that much. And the truth is, we spend a lot of energy just making sure that other people don't think we're weird. The path we were on was well-worn, and it was comfortable, and we were happy. But it's okay to reevaluate your life even when you're happy. We've been encouraged to take a step back, to kind of study the life that we were living, to decide if the path that we were on was the path we wanted to be on, and to ask the question of why were we even taking that path. Um, it has led us to make some decisions about our family life, to try to simplify our family life, to go a different way and not really care if other people think we're weird. A lot of things about our family are very unusual. Um, the way that we dress and the way that we school and the way that we worship have all changed. Um, they've changed a lot and it's okay. I hope this poem encourages you to take a look at the path you're on and decide if you're there because you want to be or just because you're already there. So without for the delay, I present The Calf Path by Sam Walter Foss. One day, through the primeval wood, a calf walked home as good calves should, but made a trail all bent askew, a crooked trail, as all calves do. Since then, two hundred years have fled, and I infer the calf is dead. But still, he left behind his trail, and thereby hangs my moral tale. The trail was taken up next day by a lone dog that passed that way, and then a wise bellwether sheep pursued the trail o'er vale and steep, and drew the flock behind him too, as good bellwethers always do. And from that day o'er hill and glade, through those old woods a path was made, and many men wound in and out, and dodged and turned and bent about, and uttered words of righteous wrath, because t'was such a crooked path. But still they followed, do not laugh, the first migrations of that calf. And through this winding woodway stalked, because he wobbled when he walked. This forest path became a lane that bent and turned and turned again. This crooked lane became a road where many a poor horse with his load toiled on beneath the burning sun and traveled some three miles in one. And thus, a century and a half, they trod the footsteps of that calf. The years passed on in swiftness fleet. The road became a village street. And this, before men were aware, a city's crowded thoroughfare. And soon the central street was this of a renowned metropolis. And men, two centuries and a half, trod in the footsteps of that calf. Each day a hundred thousand rout followed the zigzag calf about, and o'er his crooked journey went the traffic of a continent. A hundred thousand men were led by one calf, near three centuries dead. They followed still his crooked way, and lost one hundred years a day, for thus such reverence is lent to well-established precedent. A moral lesson this might teach, were I ordained or called to preach, for men are prone to go it blind along the calf paths of the mind and work away from sun to sun to do what other men have done. They follow in the beaten track and out and in and forth and back and still their devious course pursue to keep the path that others do. But how the wise old wood gods laugh who saw the first primeval calf. Ah, many things this tale might teach, but I am not ordained.
plinky plinky music fade to black introspective moment <laughs> <laughs>